everybody! I'm not sure if you know, but if you want to work on your character model in Unity, you have specific settings that you need to use when you're exporting your model from Vroid. Today, I'm going to go over those settings with you so that you're all ready to go when you start importing your model into Unity to work on. Specifically, if you want to customize tails or settings like my earring, or if you want to add motion capture to your model so you can make awesome expressions, then these are settings you're going to want to pay attention to. Let's jump in! Okay, so your details are finalized and you have your character ready for export in Vroid. When you want to do that, you go up here and you click export as VRM. Select that and it's going to take a moment to load up the export screen. We have our character in standard T-Pose here, ready to be exported. And there's a few settings that we need to make sure are set, especially if we want to do mocap, or in the case of this character, Seraph, we will definitely be transferring the tail from the head because it's hair down to the butt. So we want to make sure that we are not deleting transparent meshes. This is important for doing mocap because the mocap needs the transparent meshes to be there on the face for doing copies. So unclick that. It's okay to edit crosshair sections if you want. You can have that selected. Um, I don't fiddle with any of these because I want to make sure that my mocap moves over uh, properly. But the real important thing to not fiddle with is the face. So if you want to adjust any of these different reductions, which will reduce your polygons and make your character more performant, you can just be a little bit cautious with it because you could end up looking super low resolution or a bit janky. All right, once you have that set, you want to look at reduced materials and you want to make sure you have combined hair mesh unchecked. You can leave it checked if you're not doing anything special with your hair, but because we'll be moving the tail from the head bone down to the hip bone, we don't want our hair mesh combined or we won't be able to separate them. So definitely make sure that that's unchecked. I don't reduce any of my bones, but you can reduce your bones if you want to make your character more performant. If you notice your computer's lagging when you test it in BC face, then reduce your bones a bit and you might end up finding you're more performant. After that, click export and there's going to be a bit of information for you to fill out. The name of your avatar, the creator, which is probably you, the contact information. I usually put my Twitter in here. A reference, if you have one, that might be a link to a reference image and the version number. We're doing a bump up on this, so I'm going to change that. You also want to set who can assign personality to the avatar, AKA who can use it and what they can use it for. This would be in between you and your client. If you're making this for someone else, if it's for you, set it to whatever you want. It's yours. Add additional license information if you have any. And once you're done, like export down here and save the file wherever you want to save it, where it's easy to find for you. Thanks for watching the tutorial and I hope you find it useful. If your next step is getting your model imported into Unity and making sure that Unity is set up to work on your model, then I have a link to a video below that will get you going on that. Make sure to like and subscribe if you found this helpful and I'll catch you next time. Bye!